Well, I mean, we're tired. It's been a long week for both sides. I think uh, we're disappointed that we don't have a final result, but at the same time, I think both sides feel that way. But uh, it was a hard-fought case. Uh, the jury couldn't arrive at a verdict. They gave us a lot of hard effort and a lot of work, and we appreciate their service. But uh, I think both sides just have to step back and reevaluate. We'll see where we go from here. Why do you think this was so, you know, why do you think it came to this and they couldn't come up with a decision? I, you have to ask the, the jury. I think uh, this was a very hard fought case. It was a bruising case on both sides. Um, we're still certainly maintaining that the chief did what he had to do. As tragic as unfortunate as it was, I mean, there's no winners in this. However, it turns out it's a tragedy, however you look at it. But, um, you know, we, we, we faced the prosecution and we've, um, just going to have to wait and see where we go from there. Do you With think that outcome, do you think there's anything you could have done differently thinking it back over? I know you said you've been frustrated. You couldn't say more. So, no, I, no, I don't. I don't think we. I don't think we would have done anything any differently. I think um, you know, like I said, I think both sides put up uh, the strongest case they could, and uh, as a result of that, the jury couldn't make a determination um, unanimously either way. And so that's just part of the process. That's our system. It's not perfect, but it's great, and it works. Uh, and uh, if they can't arrive at a unanimous verdict, then we have to move on. We have to just see what the prosecutor decides to do from here. At the same time, you can't be upset with the jury. They went beyond the call of duty. They deliberated for 12 hours. I was just told by two of the jurors that it was a 9-3 to three for guilty. She didn't specify whether it was manslaughter or murder, but at least nine of the jurors thought the defendant should be convicted. How frustrating is that for nine to three? I mean, you're three away from from winning this case. You're close, but you need 12. And, we'll, and uh, you know, I'm going to assess it. I'm going to maybe try to talk to some jurors, get some feedback from them, talk to the victim's family members, and uh, see about possibly calling this in the very near future. Did you talk to the victim's family members in the courtroom tonight at all? Just briefly after the, um, we found out that it was deadlocked. Yeah. And there, very happy that at least the information has now gotten out there. People know how Bernard Bailey was killed and struck down. That's that's a good thing. Um, they're getting closer maybe to getting some closure. But they did walk out of the courtroom, a lot of them in tears. Sure, absolutely, because they haven't really gotten that closure. We still haven't reached a verdict yet.